Breaking right now in Washington, D.C., a curfew just took effect after hundreds of people stormed the U.S. Capitol building shortly after 2 o'clock local time. This all happened during what is normally a ceremonial proceeding to count the Electoral College vote, confirming the 2020 election of Joe Biden. Natalie Brand brings us the afternoon's events. As protesters swarmed the U.S. Capitol, police put the area on lockdown and lawmakers were escorted from the Senate floor. The chaos and confusion broke out a little more than an hour after Vice President Mike Pence opened a joint session of Congress to count the Electoral College vote, which will officially confirm Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. Tellers will announce the votes. But what is normally a formality has turned tense as a group of Republican lawmakers backing President Trump are raising objections to several battleground states Mr. Biden won, starting with Arizona. I rise up for myself and 60 of my colleagues to object to the uh, counting of the electoral ballots from Arizona. Uh, is the objection in writing and signed by a senator? Yes, it is. It is. Tossing out a state's votes would require a majority from the House and Senate, with Democrats controlling the House and a growing number of senators speaking out against the challenges. The congressional clash will delay the process, but it will not change the outcome of the election. This election were overturned by mere allegations from the losing side, our democracy would enter a death spiral. Vice President Pence's role today is largely ceremonial, but President Trump, who refuses to acknowledge his loss, falsely insists the vice president has the power to intervene. All Vice President Pence has to do is send it back to the states to recertify, and we become president. President Trump renewed his unsubstantiated claims of a rigged election to a large crowd of supporters at a rally outside the White House. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen. Holding signs and waving flags, President Trump supporters vowed to continue to fight. President-elect Joe Biden went on TV and addressed the nation this afternoon. It's not protest, it's insurrection. The world's watching. Like so many other Americans, I am genuinely shocked and saddened that our nation, so long the beacon of light and hope for democracy, has come to such a dark moment. Later, President Donald Trump released this video message urging supporters to go home. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt.